Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 1 p.m. update. Currently got uh, all the indices, with the exception of the semiconductor index, trading higher. So the semis are off 17. The Dow's up 429, 1 and 3 tenths percent. The S&P's up 31, 8 tenths percent. NASDAQ 133, or about a quarter of a percent out there. The big winner is the Russell 2000, up 1 and 7 tenths percent. She's trading out at 2283. Let's go take a look at our core nine charts out here. Get a feel for what the markets are doing. You've got the S&P 500. Uh, we're taking a look at the ES Mini. So it is uh, run right into Resistance, whether it can clear that resistance is unknown, but the level to be watching here for the ES Mini would be 3913. We're at 3903, the high of the day, 391150. You'll see a descending trend line that's your upper left hand corner. You'll also see the top of the daily profile. So the ES Mini, which does have a valid topping signal. In fact, uh, the ES Mini can't get to all out bullish unless it takes out its high from February 16th. That's out of 3959 area. So if this is the time for a turn, the ES Mini has hit resistance. Now, the problem with that is that that spot volatility is now trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. You had price close below it yesterday. You've got to follow through today. And as long as price remains below that level, which is 24.21, the ES Mini should be able to take out that resistance area. But resistance is resistance. Watch 39.13. If you take a look at the NQ out here, even though it's not shown on this chart, we'll see it during the Trader's Ed show. Uh, but price has run into resistance at the oscillator and change line. Now, it's a very bearish pattern for the NQ. I don't, have a, uh, I, I don't have a very bearish pattern on the ES, just price getting up to resistance. But inside the NQ, <clears throat> that could be the end of its move. So we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index yesterday, generating a sell, the D point out here, very little follow through to the downside right now. But nonetheless, uh, you should see the U.S. dollar index pull back. Gold, at the same time the U.S. dollar index was forming a sell the D point, gold was forming a buy the D point. Now, in the case of Goldilocks, she's got a brand new profile that formed yesterday. A resistance at 1743, support at 1683. Silver forming a brand new profile yesterday as well. Support at 2512, resistance at 2736. If we take a look at light sweet crude. It's got a topping pattern out there. Price should pull back to test support. That's the rising trend line area. That's between 60.11 and 61.86. Natural gas still wants to head lower. It's got an A to B equal CD pattern. Should target 252. And Treasury bonds have support at 158.15. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful day. See you soon.